Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am really excited for today because I have some new products and I saw this collection being put out and I was just kind of like, mm, do I need it? And as I started looking into it more, I found myself clicking on their website to check it out some more. And I was just like, you know what? If it comes back in stock, I will purchase it. There's an eyeshadow palette. There's a blush palette, the highlighter that is super, super stunning. Can you see it? We played around with that collab as well as a couple other products that I picked up along the way. So you guys, I'm excited for today's video because that's how I got this look. Now, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications of new videos. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. But if you wanna see how I got this look using that collaboration and a couple other new products, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, so I have already primed my eyelids and I am ready to jump in to the Pat McGrath and Bridgerton collab. The eyeshadow palette is stunning. So when you look in here, these six shades are beautiful. This looks like these are three mattes. You have kind of a duochrome right here with this blue and then kind of some shimmery shades with those two. I do wanna swatch them for you, especially this yummy blue shade, mm, you guys. Now, there are some neutral shades, a neutral shade, <laughs> and then you've got a mauvey pink and a burgundy with some neutral shimmers and then this beautiful yummy duochrome. Okay, you guys, so I swatched them and the first two are pretty buttery and then that duochrome is a little bit gritty, kind of like a glitter, but I'm not mad at it. It's beautiful. So this first shade is Iconic Ingenue and it's just kind of like that champagne-y white shade that I gravitate towards for like an inner corner highlight or the brow bone. Then you have Duchess Divinity, which is kind of like a mauve purple with silver. It doesn't have glitter in it, but it's got like a silver hue to it. So it's like more of a silvery mauve. And then this shade is Regency Blue, which is that kind of like silvery blue duochrome. I do wanna go ahead and swatch these for you. Ooh. I do kind of want to play around with this shade right here and then put this duochrome on top of it. I think that would be a lot of fun to play around with. So I think I have an idea for how I'm going to do my eyeshadow. So let's jump into this. So I think I'm going to play more with like the pinky mauves. So I'm going to end up jumping into this shade right here, which is Art of the Swoon. It's just kind of like that pinky shade. I'm going to put that in the crease. And you guys, the little pressings in here are really cool with what looks like the bumblebee. All right, so it looks like it might have picked up. Let's see. These are kind of hard pressed. So I am just kind of like concentrating it on the brush because I do want to get it into the crease and then I'll start blending it out and up a little bit just to give us something as a base. And I knew I was playing with this eyeshadow palette, so I kind of tried to match my sweater. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm really bad about that. Ooh, there is some really pretty color payoff. I do like how it's just kind of like muted pink, which will be really pretty when I put the darker shade in there to deepen it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Love Match, and I'm gonna stick with that fluffy brush because I want it to still be kind of like a brush of color and then we'll deepen it up with a smudger brush that's more compacted. So I know right now it is sold out online and it's the second time it has sold out. When it comes back in stock, are you planning on picking it up? Was it something that you were interested in? Do you watch Bridgerton? It was not a show that I originally started watching it was actually something that my friends were talking about and I was just kind of like, I don't have Netflix, why would I invest in that? And then I started, one of them let me borrow their Netflix to watch an episode and I ended up down, <laughs> I ended up uh, paying for the subscription for the month just to watch Bridgerton. But I already had <laughs> enough like Hulu and HBO Max and I was like, I don't need all of these. It, it was a very interesting show. I do like period pieces. Was this one accurate? Not really. <laughs> 
Did it have a good storyline? I think it did. It kind of looks like a popsicle. My eye socket is always weird because of the way my like eyelid folds. <laughs> so at one point I thought it was a brush and I was like, no, it's just my eyelid. My eyelid is defective. I am gonna go back into the lighter shade, which is Art of the Smoon. And just on the outer edge, just kind of blend. That's really pretty, and I kinda wanna go into this shade to like deepen up the outer V a little bit. That shade is Plum Regalia. I'm just gonna grab one of my MAC Flat Smudging Brushes and go into this shade Plum Regalia. See if we can deepen up the outer V just a little bit, not too much. And I like it because this brush is actually double-ended. It was one of those that was in one of the holiday palettes that I decluttered. I just always end up taking the eyeshadow brushes out of them. <laughs> they just, I collect them apparently. Oh, it's deepening up a little bit. I do like that the red is still coming through. It's not like overpowering. So I do like that very shade. I just wanted to like have that shadow. If you guys hear my stomach grumbling when I'm talking, it's because I'm starving. And I ate lunch. It's just for some reason my tummy wants a snack. And then I'm not I, I'm not hungry. My stomach thinks I'm hungry. Okay, it deepened it up a little bit. It's not super like red now. Kind of accents this a little bit more. Now I wanna go into the shade Duchess Divinity. I'm gonna try it on a brush. I know that I don't do that often. Usually I just go straight in with my finger, but I need to be better about that because some people don't like using their finger for eyeshadow application. So we will try and see. Ooh, ooh, that's really nice. Cause you can get more defined when you have a brush or it's, when I use my finger, it ends up everywhere. And this is with no like water or setting spray to dampen the brush, which is nice because this is going on beautifully. And I'm not too worried about how it looks because I, I still plan on putting on the Regency Blue shade on top of it. And that one I will probably use my finger for. See, that's just so beautiful and yummy. That just, oh, you guys, stunning. I do like the purple underneath it, like the mauve shimmer, just because it does pull through. It's kind of opaque, so it's pulling the color through. Oh, you guys, that is so yummy because on here you can see the red showing through, but then over here you can see it looks a little more silvery. Mm, this color. Let me do this eye. I'll be back. I have a couple other products to try out with you guys. Okay, so I did pick up a couple new items that I figured we would try out together. I have the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. This packaging, you guys, is really, really nice. It actually feels like a heavy glass bottle, frosted, like, I really like this. Now is the primer good enough? So this is supposed to be just that airbrush finished, which for me, like my biggest concern is like my pores. I'm not gonna put my other primer that I love, which is the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. I'm just gonna put this on, use a foundation that I had recommended by one of you guys, and we are going to see how this works for the day. So that's one pump and I feel like I might need two. So we want with two pumps. It's just kind of, it just looks like a lotion. It doesn't have a scent. Yeah, it doesn't really have a scent, which is not a bad thing. There are a lot of people who don't like scented products. I don't mind them. It just depends on what the scent is. But this feels really nice on the skin. Right through here, because I'm not using my other primer, I'm just gonna pat it in and see how it is on my pores. It's not sticky. My skin feels really smooth. Like my fingers, so my fingers are just like baby soft. 
And then for foundation, I have the YSL All Hours Foundation. This is up to 24 hour wear. It's not new, but one of you guys recommended this down in the comments to me and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it out. I have it in the shade B30 Almond, which Sephora said was my shade based off of uh, my Too Faced foundation that I like. It looks like it's my shade. We'll start out like this and see. Maybe it's too much, maybe it's too little. This does have a scent, yeah. And it's not bad, it's just, it has a scent. It is a matte foundation. It looks like it's like medium to full, but buildable. So we'll start out like this for right now. And the primers that I put on, or not primer, but my skincare, I made sure to use some hydrating skincare because it is cold here. It's supposed to get down to like 19 degrees this weekend and snow. And we had, we had snow last weekend. No one knows how to drive here. They literally shut down the state when it snows. You would think we were like Florida or something. It snows here and yet no one knows how to do anything. Like you can't go to a fast food restaurant. You couldn't go to a sit down restaurant. Good thing I had stuff in the freezer because you couldn't order anything. You couldn't go anywhere. It just, it was not happening. Like everything here shuts down. All right, so I think I need some more. So what I'm gonna do is, I should have just done this to begin with. But I'm not usually the type to like dot it on my face. This is why I don't usually wear earrings when I'm first filming because then my foundation and stuff gets on my earrings. But then I forget to put my jewelry on. Comment down below, what's the order that you get ready? Like I like to do my hair first and then do my makeup. I know some people like to do their makeup and then do their hair. I just don't like that because then I feel like, especially blow drying my hair, I feel like I start sweating and then the makeup that I put on was pointless. So what is your routine? I'm interested. Cause everyone is different. All right, so I think that this shade is probably a little more like when I have a suntan. We will have to bronze up a little bit. I do have a new concealer to try out, but I'm gonna use my contour stick that I did not declutter. When I go to powder my face, I am gonna use something that I am familiar with and I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty. This is the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in shade Sugar Cookie. So it will actually tone down this shade as well. Sometimes Sephora does well for shade matching, sometimes it doesn't. But for concealer, and this one is new, I have tried it once because I was really excited and then I knew I wasn't filming that day. This is the Maybelline Superstay 30 Hour Concealer. You guys, I can tell you that this is like light and almost kind of like that serum concealer from NYX. I actually kind of liked it. Mind you, I did not stick this back into the tube and it still has a lot of product. This one you can kind of let like sit for a minute and it'll still stay liquidy. I'm just gonna use my handy dandy beauty sponge. Just I really like this concealer. Like I said, this isn't the first time I've used it. This is only actually the second time. But the first time, my under eye looked really good. And I just like how it kind of sets down. It doesn't fall into my creases and it, it just, it feels nice and light on the skin. And then finish off the rest with a sponge. So I didn't use the Tarte Timeless, 
but it did settle into my lines on my forehead, which I'm not a fan of. <laughs> setting powder applies everywhere. I do like this setting powder because if you look at it, it's kind of toned down the orangey yellow in it. So if you have a shade that's like maybe when you have a tan and you still want to use it, but you just need to have it subdued a little bit, the translucent, translucent equivalent shade in Sugar Cookie, like it is one of my favorites. And it just kind of like toned it down. At least I think it did. <laughs> if I'm not, if, if, what I'm saying doesn't make sense, <laughs> tell me down below because from me looking at it, I think <laughs> I was able to tone it down a little bit less yellowy orange. Okay, to finish off this eye look, I'm gonna go into this light pinky shade and I'm just gonna use my little smudger brush from Huda Beauty. I'm gonna pick up a lot of this pink shade and I'm going to just place it underneath before I drag it. Now I don't know that I want to necessarily use that darker red shade. So I think we're gonna go into this shade right here and just under here in the V connect it so that it's not too crazy looking. I'm gonna start right here and just pat it into the outer V just to dunce it up a little bit. Nothing too crazy because I do like the blue the way it is. And then now I'm gonna place it underneath so we can drag it and blend it. And it just kind of gives that lift because I did it on an angle, which I always try and just like go towards my temple. <laughs> you guys, I really like how this look turned out. Now, I really want to use this light shade here, but I do have the highlighter. So I want to kind of use that for the inner corner and the brow bone. Okay, so for blush, I have the Bridgerton palette. This has two blushes in it as well as a highlighter and that's cool, except I also bought this highlighter. So I figured I would play around with this blush first. If I wanna deepen it up, we'll play around with this pink. But the peachy shade just speaks to me. It just has like that peachy, pinky sheen to it. I'm just kind of placing it where I want it before I go and blend it out completely. I really like just the subtleness of this pink. Now I am going to dip in there and tap. Ooh, that kind of picked up a little bit. I just want to back here and bring it forward. See if we can bring it up. I feel like that just put it over the edge. You guys, I really like that. So I'm going to do everything on the other side exactly how I did it on this side. Okay, I do want to go ahead and swatch the highlighter though because that looks promising. Now, there is this one as well, which I like the packaging on it. It's very sleek. Okay, so on the back of this, there's actually like a little note. This is the Divine Glow Highlighter. It says, use without caution. Iconic indiscretions and whistle down notoriety may result with prolonged use. This is in the shade Incandescent Gold. That is stunning. The press in it is really cool, but I do... Oh, okay, look at the difference, you guys. <gasps> yes. I... Do we know which one I'm gonna gravitate towards? Ooh, that one, this one is like, calling my name. But I do like the pinky, like rose gold shade. It's really pretty. Now for the inner corner, I'm gonna use this as well. So just on my little pencil brush, grab a little and place it in the inner corner.
Now for the cheeks, you guys. When I do setting spray, I wanna see if it amplifies it. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead, do some eyeliner, brows, and I will be right back. Okay, and then the last new product that I have, this is the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. So I figured let's blend everything together, see how the highlighter works on top of the setting spray, see if it'll like amplify a little bit. So I'm excited to try this out. This I have not tried, so let's see. Ooh, that's a very fine mist. I feel like for as light as it is, like, I just needed a lot of it. Because I couldn't feel it. And don't worry, I know I need to have this area a little, but I want to press it in first before I try and do the highlighter. I'm gonna go in one more time and then we'll do some highlighter. Oh, you guys. I just feel like it made it just that much more juicy. Did I need to do that? Probably not, but I, ooh, you guys. I love a good highlighter. Okay, you guys, and this is the final look. Um, for my lips, I did just do a pinky lip liner. This is the Barbie and ColourPop in the shade Dream House. And I just did that to line my lips and then I used the Sugar Cookie from Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick. So this is more on the brown side with the pinky underneath. It just kind of brought everything together. So that is one of my favorite things to do is use a more pinky lip liner just to change the tone of my lip gloss or not lip gloss, liquid lipstick. It just depends on the opacity, but sometimes they'll actually bring through the color of your lip liner, which I love. Usually I don't use lip liners with liquid lipsticks unless I'm trying to change the color, <laughs> if that makes sense. Anyways, you guys, I had a lot of fun trying out some of these products. So the Pat McGrath Labs and Bridgerton eyeshadow palette, you guys, I love this color story. I had a lot of fun with it. The shadows are just really pretty. They are hard packed in here, which was nice because it wasn't like fluffing all over. My like eyeshadow palette isn't crazy with powder and dust, but these shades are stunning. The only one I didn't use was this one and it's because I used the highlighter as my inner corner highlight and brow bone, but I used every single color in this palette and I had a lot of fun. This blue shade on top is stunning, you guys. And the packaging, I didn't even talk about the packaging. It is super cute. The little ribbon with the pearls and the B for Bridgerton. And then on the back, there's even like the purple roses. This blush and highlighter palette, I really liked how my blush turned out. I do like the peachy shades. I've talked about it multiple times, especially in my blush declutter. <laughs> You guys, I have an issue, but I do like this. I will play around with this highlighter the next time. I just wanted to try out this one that I have. And you guys, I was not disappointed with this. So this shade right here is just that icy, it looks icy silver, but it actually went on more gold. And I really like how it turned out. I do think it's funny that on the back there is just kind of like, a little thing that kind of like a story vibe and I didn't look to see see it doesn't have it on either of these it's just on the back of the highlighter so I think that's a cute touch now for the other new products I did try out the airbrush primer from hourglass my skin looks fine um, up here in my lines right here it did kind of sink in but I could try it with the timeless now for me this says that it's airbrush so I would think that it would smooth out my pores a little bit. I am feeling, seeing a little bit of like the pore and texture right through there. Nothing too crazy, nothing I can't live with. I mean, half the time we're wearing face masks anyway, so you don't see it. <laughs> the All Hours Foundation from YSL. I really like this. I may have gotten the wrong shade, but I think I was able to kind of change it based off of my bronzer and everything else and as well as the setting powder that I had that kind of toned it down a little bit, but 
the shade matching is my fault not necessarily the product's fault i do like how my skin looks with this on do i need a matte foundation in the winter usually not but i'm interested to see how it looks on my skin in like spring and summer so stay tuned for that because i mean hopefully spring comes soon it's almost february or already february when you're seeing this the maybelline 30 hour concealer you guys my eyes look really good nothing sink into my lines and you guys know i'm not a fan of them but i think my under eyes look beautiful i think the concealer is really pretty have you tried this i think i picked mine up at the local walgreens um, so go check that out if you're looking for a light and easy to use concealer and then the setting spray i'll keep trying this out this is the first time i've used it and i mean i like how my makeup turned out i do like that it amplified my highlighter a little bit so we will try it out again see how we like it and i will let you guys know well you guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you're planning on picking up any of these products let me know down below i'm interested to see what's caught your eye but you guys if you're new here hit the subscribe button down below hit the bell for notifications to new videos if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up I really appreciate it. And until my next video, bye you guys. And I'll see you in the next one.